Ready to go then here for round four of the Manufacturer Series for the FIA Certified Gran Turismo Championships. Red lights about to come on then as we go racing at the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Five lights on. Lights out and we go racing. Good start then from Frog. A great start from Cockerman off the side of the front row as well. Down towards the first corner. Very short run into the left-hander. It's understandably Frogger that leads the way from Cockerman, from Iraqi, from Serrano. They're coming down the hill now, though. They're going to come through these very twisty bends. It's one at a time through this part of the lap. So nice see. Oh, here we go. So here's now finally a lunge from Iraqi. This is always a scary place to try and make the move up here because it is very much side by side. Cockerman, though, lets him have it. A little bit of a wave there from Iraqi on the uh, picture and picture. So thank you, mate for not fighting there because the last thing you want to do there is have contact because uh, that wall is very close and you're going very fast. Let's see what the gap does in front of him between Igor Fraga and Yuki Araki. Two seconds it sits now at the halfway stage of this race. We're at the halfway point in this lap now and we're now at the halfway stage because of course there's two laps remaining here. Igor Fraga, the race leader, continues on whilst Cockerman and Araki coming to the pit lane as Serrano also carries on normally as well. Into the right-hander, doesn't make a move, stick through there, but you would imagine it's only going to be a matter of time before the Japanese driver mounts a challenge on his compatriot, and indeed he does so then, pulls alongside him on the outside as they come through the left-hander. Beauvoir tries to join the party here as well, so Sugimori gets ahead of Okamoto. Two positions lost in the space of two corners then for Okamoto, here comes Beauvoir on the back of Sugimori. Is he going to send it down the inside? Sugimori knows that, holds the line, holds firm for now. And Beauvoir thinks better off making a challenge on the NSX driver for P8. So I think here's the penalty. So, oh, easy place to do it there. The, the corner opens up in such a way that the car pushes out to the outside there and he just... Uh, couldn't quite keep it uh, tight enough. Now, we're coming on towards the final lap now then here, so this is where the top five are going to be coming into the pit lane at the end of this one. Look at Cockerman then, now on the back of Quinten Hall. Let's see whether he's going to be able to find his way past. Likewise, as well, uh, we could see there that Baptiste Beauvoir was right on the back of uh, Yuki Iraqi. Here is Cockerman then going side by side with Quinten Hall and getting himself ahead. Frager comes into the pit lane with six litres of fuel left, so he's going to be making a bit more uh, time, uh, losing a bit more time, I should say, to Jose Serrano, who's got 13 litres litres of fuel left. Mir's only only two litres of fuel left, so this could be really interesting. Doesn't change the tyre, stays on the hard tyres, comes out of the pit lane there, ahead, crucially, of Riotta Kokobin. But what is the gap going to be between the two? It was uh, a couple of seconds before the pit stop. It's actually managed to just increase ever so slightly, but Jose Serrano just ahead there of Kokobin as well, who's been pushing like a madman on that outlap. So we're on board now with Kokobin through the miss-hit-miss complex. We have Jose Serrano in front and then in front of us a bit further is Igor Fraga just out of reach though just out of reach of these guys GT Sport has, actually has an awesome training tool for that oh Ooh. Igor oh I mean, all... <laughs> <laughs> you see that the little, the little cheeky smile there of uh, being, oh yep got away with that one that would have um, made his bum go like a rabbit's nose yeah I was going to say that I've uh, I've done that many times as well as we talk about learning the launch life but uh and here then is Cockerman then let's see what he's going to be able to do through the right hander into the left just Threading the eye of a needle through here then, but Cockerman really seems to be getting his act together in this final part. Yeah, at this point I think that Ryota, he knows what he needs to do. Just putting that pressure on Serrano, just making sure he doesn't uh, get too comfortable out there in the Porsche. Let's see what happens then, coming down the Dottinger Hill for the final time here for World Series 4 in the FIA Certified Gran Turismo Championships. Cockerman with the straight line speed, with the slipstream then of Jose Serrano. Can he take second place away from the Porsche driver going towards the left-hand side of the circuit as they come side by side down the Dottinger Hill then, and Cockerman takes that second place away from Serrano. Serrano immediately back into the slipstream then to try and retaliate on the Mazda driver. Can he do anything before the end of the lap though? He's really going to have to send it if he's going to try and make a move. He's really close on the brakes as they come through into the final series of corners. Here though is Igor Fraga, pole position, fastest lap and the win in World Series 4 in the Manufacturer Series. Yes. Relief for Igor Fraga as he yes. wins here at the Nordschleife. Yes. Cockerman does hold on for second place ahead.